Okay, then begin. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is Elder Mack from the Victor Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this is the day before uh, Easter. We are in the process of saying good things about the God of our salvation. And I would be completely off course if I did not declare today that the Lord I serve is a good God and worthy to be praised. Um, based on what I have learned and know about my God, He is truly valuable. We know He has the power to create. The Bible in Genesis 1 and 1 declare in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and says that the earth was out form and void. From this introductory verse uh, one can enumerate stop step stop step uh, God's creation. Plan. We can figure out how God begins to do certain things. So it's listed in the Word. It was God who said, Let there be light. And there was light. Then God uh, proceeded to organize the lights. He established the sun and the, and the moon and the stars. Then He did the animals, He did the birds. With bats, trees, whales, cattle, creeping things, and all living things came about because of God's creative power. And not only do we know our God as a creator, we know him as a redeemer. For the Bible uh, reveals to us his supreme power and sacrifice in the redemptive process. John 3.16, the word says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse uh, 17, 17 says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And when we read Acts chapter, uh, chapter 4, verse 12, the word declares, neither is there salvation in any other. That there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So we have a Savior in our Lord Jesus Christ. In 1 Timothy uh, 3 and 16, we are told without controversy greatest of mystery of godliness, godliness that God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. He is now on the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. Praise God. So let us give thanks to the God that we serve, bless our God uh, forever. Let us not for forget. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Fin finally, 
Remember, Jesus said he came not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So it's time to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate this great uh, feat or the time and to worship God in spirit and in truth and to give him the praise through his great name. We love you, we pray for you, and we hope that you have a very uh, wonderful uh, Easter Sunday. And remember, uh, he is the God of God, King of kings, and the Lord of Lords. And we do celebrate him. And we do appreciate all that he has done in our lives. For he has done great things. And so we can say without hesitation that the Lord is good and he's worthy to be praised. Thank God for you. Have a blessed and prosperous peace. But do remember, it is he who has given us the joy, the peace, and all that we have, we owe to God. So pray with him, bless him, ask for his goodness, ask for his guidance, and he is more than likely willing to give you the joy of, of life. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen and amen.